Laurie Marker has worked to protect cheetahs around the world since the mid-1970s. She made the southwest African country of Namibia her permanent home in 1990. And she founded the Cheetah Conservation Fund, or CCF, as a base for cheetah research, as well as a working farm to show locals a sustainable model for conservation. Lori's a farmer. Lori's a conservationist. She's able to speak a common language from a learned standpoint. What the dogs do is they bond with the flock. They live with them, they walk out in the bush with them, and they bark loudly at any intruder. We breed the dogs here. We place them with farmers to reduce livestock loss. What Lori hopes to do is to really get them invested, invested in having a proper and healthy functioning ecosystem. Saving the, the cheetah is actually about changing the world. The cheetah is at the very top of this pyramid and we have to get the bottom right and every other level in between. With Lori and the Cheetah Conservation Fund's approach, it's always looking at the ecosystem and, and keeping things in balance. And it's not just about cheetahs. It's looking at uh, the kind of grasslands that should, should exist there naturally. It's looking at the, the wildlife that should be there. And I really foresee a time when our farmers in Africa are actually profiting from their agriculture and living in harmony with the cheetah. And I call it changing the face of Africa. Today, there are about 10,000 cheetahs left in the wild. Around 3,000 are living in Namibia. In addition to its sustainability efforts, CCF is home to about 50 orphan cheetahs. The CCF has learned how to protect and grow wild population in part by studying the cheetah's genes. Understanding the genetics of the cheetah has been a long part of our research. The cheetah lacks genetic variation. Wow, hey, take a look at that. So we've worked on over 800 wild cheetahs. Some of these animals we've then started doing reintroduction research on. Lori's work has shown that the cheetah population has increased over the last 20 years that she's been there. They're not just talking the talk, they're walking the walk, and the local farmers accept that, the international scientific community all agrees, and Lori's really hit her stride in terms of conservation. It's the most amazing animal there is in the world. We want them all living out in the wild. We have so much more to do to make sure that our goal at the end is this sustainability and these lifestyles and that the cheetah is still walking the earth in 20 years. <laughs>